I'm not sure where we'll get with this today, but what we have here is a, uh, a GPX brand, TDE 1380, which was given to us. Um, a 13 inch color LCD TV. Uh, what's nifty about it, it has a composite in, PC in, and three HDMI inputs. It's very small, lightweight, runs on 12 volts. Has an ASTC tuner, which will allow pickup of uh, over the air broadcast, and uh, built in DVD and media cards, etc. And what the owner says it did was. After it had been on for 15 or 20 minutes or so, it um, it switches to DVD. And I asked, well, does the DVD work? And you know the answer to that. Of course not. August 2010. So here we are, not quite five years old. Uh, we'd like to get the DVD portion of this working. Maybe it's flipping to DVD because there's something inside wrong. We'll take a look inside. So after removing the screws from the perimeter, our screen tilts out and we have a Samsung 13 inch display. And there's our connector and a ground. I will disconnect that momentarily, uh, get some focus here. What I'm a little concerned about is the DVD here not playing and why that, that that bar there feels kind of dry a lot of times these just have trouble going along the uh, the bars here if it isn't a laser or whatnot that seems to be moving all right work it by hand a little bit we'll get this drive out and see if it's easily replaceable if it's a uh, common common laser assembly or not but uh, let's power it up and see how this thing functions okay noticing its behavior here is it defaults to the DVD when you power up and it the loaded motor seems to keep trying to run here and as you go through the inputs I haven't touched it. As I go through the inputs, it will run that DVD motor. Each time. I was trying to run the DVD it seems. So that's one problem. Let's throw a DVD in and see what happens. Goes in, loads and spins up. It's reading, and it sees it just fine. So let's play it a bit and see if it'll. So, it seems the problem may not even be the drive, it's just that it's getting signaled early for a DVD, yet it's either not ejecting fully or there's a switch condition not being met. See if it pauses and doesn't suck it back in. It 
it does try to suck it back in. This thing's being signaled somehow that a DVD is present. Let's eject that again. Take it completely out. <clears throat> no, it's checking for a disc, so... We'll have to see what's up with that. It's, it's trying to take a disc in, but there is no disc to take in. So I imagine a switch here. There's got to be a switch here or something that's uh, not right. As it partially tries to load it, ejects it. And I cannot load it myself here. Oh, there it goes. So the problem is somewhere in that loading mechanism. We'll look into that a little more. So that's it for the GPX 13 inch DVD combo. Okay, we have the DVD input disassembled here and what I can tell you what I found so far is the way this knows that you're placing a CD and being a slot loading is you place the disc in here and this rubber there's a rubber platen here is uh, the only way I know to describe it will grab the disc by the loading motor and take it in however what starts the process here is under this cover here is a photo diode assembly, a photo transistor comprising of two junctions here. I know there is a way to test this. I can supply some power and put a scope on it and watch the uh, watch the uh, wave change. So there's either something getting through, either these are bad or it's getting a false a false signal. So. Uh, there's nothing I can see wrong, but obviously what it does is it reflects off of the disk, completes the circuit, and uh, starts the take the take up process. Okay, I've gone ahead and reassembled this. Uh, less the um, the two the connector marked LED one and LED two. So let's turn it on and see if it signals for a DVD with that out of the circuit. Okay, the back screen is lit. Oh, it's continuously straining. So it thinks there's a DVD in there now. Let's attach this back up and see what happens. I don't know how one of these operates when it's working, so it's hard to say. There it is trying to pull a disc in again. So somehow this is getting a false reading over here. So somehow this is getting a false reading over here.
like it says LED1, LED2 in the ground is superimposed backwards and nomenclature is reversed. But uh, one of these LEDs is, I'm not sure, keeps trying to signal as if there's a disc in there trying to be pulled in. Well, I've gone ahead and removed the control panel harness here to see if that was uh, prompting a, a false eject or something. So, uh, and we still have the same symptom, so I'm guessing something with this LED setup over here. I'm going to put the scope on that and watch what that does. The remote works fine. So, I eject this with it using the remote now. It will eject. And then it will signal, well, there's a disc in it. But take the disc out. It still signals as if there's a disc waiting to go in. And it'll signal again to take it in. Whether or not I'm prompting it to. So that, that circuit's not working. I'm going to look into this a little further. As long as the DVD is in it, it works fine. That's it for the GPX for now. Looking at that sensor circuit, this goes back to the VCR days. Um, basically those two LEDs look the same, but they have to be different if they're in a, um, a sensing type configuration. One has, to be the, one has to be the emitter here, one has to be the receiver that triggers, well there's no base junction, but you get the idea. So when the light is blocked, the transistor turns off but this in this situation the the junction seems to be on whether the light is blocked or not okay this is by no means a final on the uh, GPX DVD 13 inch color TV combo flat panel what I want to do is uh, what I've decided to do take a shot is I've ordered some um, after seeing some forums on the Roomba, I guess that vacuum that goes around the room and spins, it has an error code, I guess it spins around in circles and the LED, I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with the DVD and they're sensing a disc when there is not one in there and I've come to the conclusion that there are two receivers on the top of the drive and there are two emitters here, there's one here and there's one here I had a, a heck of a time trying to get that out of there. I don't think I damaged the cladding too bad. Uh, I hope not because uh, I did lift. I don't know if the pads lifted there, but it's certainly not in the best shape. But it's 5 volts plus. That's ground, and I should have done the ground first because that's the hardest one to get out. But I did manage to get the, the LED out, and uh, just judging by what folks have had trouble with, be it anything from a... Uh, a direct TV remote to uh, to the Logitech Harmony remotes to uh, and I've had trouble with these with the in the VCR days uh, you'd replace the sensors and you could tell the sensor was bad because if you hit rewind the numbers would would stop turning or skip skip counting every now and again so you knew one of the real sensors was bad so that's my shot it was only a dollar I'm gonna buy uh, like 50 of those Infrared, I chose the 850 nanometer. There's 8 and 900. I'm going to just choose the, uh, the 800, 850, or whatever it is, and hope, I hope I have a deal with that. So um, that'll be it on the DVD player.